Hello, I am Nigel Sexy. I am a giant saint, so do not judge me. And today's the day is the very first Nigel Sexy review. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was fun. All right, now let's get down to business. Now, how many of us remember Lego? Yeah, Lego. It was fun, it was entertaining, it was creative. Once you get the pieces, you either build up uh, the thing that you bought for, or just use those extra pieces to build something else. It, and it was a uh, kick-ass. But the question is, what was the best Lego? Bionicle! Awesome! Bionicle! I loved it. It was great, it was awesome, everything was awesome about it. But question is, this is about movies, so what are we gonna, do I even have to freaking stutter? The Mask of Light, Bionicle the movie! Yes, The Mask of Light. Whenever, when we first heard of this movie, we literally pissed ourselves. This movie just made every childhood's day come true. And uh, today, I am looking back at how awesome, or possibly not, whatever, how awesome Bionicle, the movie, The Mask of Light was. Let's get started. So we start Bionicle with a simple task and stuff, but with uh, whoever this guy is uh, talking about the history of Bionicle. Ooh, science fiction uh, history. Let, uh, where do I... Where's my popcorn? Gathered friends, listen again to our legend of the Bionicle. In the time before time, the great spirit descended from the heavens, carrying we, the ones called the Matoran, to this paradise. Wait, 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 wait. A rock is what they worship, and it is their god. They're robots, and their and their god is a rock. What the fuck am I looking at? No, 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 no! A rock cannot be a freaking god over robots. How does that even make sense? I mean, yeah, robots are the robots are one with the uh, elements, uh, all that stuff, yada yada yada, but. A rock is their god. Okay, what kind of rock is this? I mean, they say you're gonna tell me a giant evil crystal full of dark power is gonna come down and put the rock to sleep. But our happiness was not to last. For Matanui's brother, the Makuta, was jealous of these honors and betrayed him, casting a spell over Matanui, who fell into a deep slumber. Oh my freaking god, they actually did it! Come on! Ah! So apparently, the rock is known as the Matanui. It was uh, put to sleep by his evil brother uh, that is called Makuta. I guess the god of darkness or whatever. And um, now they have to figure out of how to uh, bring him back up from his deep, deep slumber. Ah, great. This is going to be painful, isn't it? So anyway, let's continue. So we begin our story in the, uh, I guess, the Fire uh, series or whatever. And we get our first character, Jawa. And I have to admit one thing. The animation does pretty much kick ass. When you, when you first see that, it's like saying, Oh my god, yes! That is how I pictured Bionicle. In fact, uh, let me put on geek out mode. Give me a second. Oh my god, look at those things. They look awesome. They are just as how I imagined them to be. Oh my god, oh my god. Sorry about that. Now, let us continue. So apparently he's uh, going around the fire temple, uh, whatever that is, looking for his friend uh, th by the name of Takua. And finally, we meet up with Takua. And yep, there he is, and what the hell is that thing? What the? A 
crab? Well, what does it do? Oh, no, 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 no. We're putting in a Disney cutie character? Ugh. How much is this gonna hurt? Don't even tell me, just... Let, 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 let's, let's move on, let's move on. The sooner the better. So anyway, Taku, well, Takuda, or Takua, Takua, yeah, the, whatever his name is, I forget his name is too hard. It's trying to look at another rock. Are you serious? A rock. Another rock. Wait a minute. Isn't there a Toa of rocks? Oh my god, there is. Move on, just move on. God! So anyway, he, uh, apparently he's a mischief type of guy and he's getting himself into some kind of deep, deep, deep trouble until the kick-ass of Lava Drum Toma comes in the rest of the day. Oh boy, this is going to be awesome! Let's see, uh, they're running away from lava, blah blah blah, and yeah. Eh, could've, it could have thought it better. So anyway, apparently they are off to some sort of a, uh, uh, I guess you could say a tournament, a sports tournament, if you will. So anyway, a sports tournament, and apparently they are all there. Uh, well, actually not all of them, I would say like half of them. Uh, the rock people, the water people, and the fire people. And they're, uh, I guess they're mages or whatever those old geezers are and the toas and let's see we got uh, the toa fire water and rocks i'm starting to wonder if uh, these people are high on rocks right now and apparently the toa of fire and water hate each other pleasure to see you again golly thank you tahu <sighs> really we're doing this scheme Fire, water, not mixing thing. How about they like each other too much? That'll be interesting. Then the people will go like, uh, I think you uh, like each other too much. Yeah, so what? Well, she's water, so, and he's fire. So, you know what? Just screw each other. I don't care anymore. That would be a lot more interesting. But instead we go Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! So anyway, they start the match and uh, Takua, later on, Takua starts to uh, use his secret move. Oh boy, here it comes! Yeah, the water team wins, and they still obey, say they got a good match. And then, what do you know what? They let out the, a mask! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in that rock that went into lava was a mask. He hid it in his bag and such. So, yeah, forgot to mention that. Sorry! Continuing! And they're all freaking out because it's a mask of light! Anyway. They start to translate that and say it is the Mask of Light. Yeah, no, no shit, Sherlock. So anyway, and they decided to, um, send it back. Great. Great. They're ripping off Lord of the Rings. Ass! So anyway, they decided that uh, the one who is the chosen one for this, uh, journey or quest or whatever you people call it. I don't know. I'm not a uh, uh, fantasy guy other than Skyrim and Lord of the Rings. God damn it. I am a little bit. So anyway, they decided it was Jawa. What? Jawa? 
the most complicated guy in here? Really? He keeps on complaining. He's like, yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like Robin from Batman and Robin. I'm not joking. And then compare them. Shut up and you double shut up and die. So he wants Takua to accept his uh, destiny. You know what? I'm on his side on this one. Takua, you take your destiny. Do it right now. But, but, but I didn't tell them the truth. Say something. I do say something. I say, Hail Jawa! All hail Jawa! Herald of the Seventh Tower! You freaking asshole! No! 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 No, 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 so anyway, onward. Apparently, they have to keep on going. And so, my, we finally get him. Makuda. Let's see how he looks. The Earth shudders, my brother. The seventh tour has begun its approach. Here, again, the prophecies of the Matoran Oppose my will. Must I release those who should never see the light of day? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. That is badass right there. Look at him, he is awesome. Think about it, he looks like Dr. Claw put together with Darth Vader. I think that's a little bit epic. It'll probably go something like, Who oh, did you Mata Nui, for I am your brother. <laughs> that actually sounded really good there. So anyway, he decides uh, that he doesn't want his brother to wake up, and so he summons the Rakshi. Boy, this is awesome. The Rakshi is like my very first collection of evil doers from Bionicle. Let's see how they look like in here. The hell am I looking at? Those aren't the Rakshis! The Rakshi is a, the look. I thought the Rakshi would look like reptiles. It said these look like worms with arms and legs. Worms! Worms! No! Worms aren't scary. Reptiles are scary. Hell, even the lizard from the Amazing Spider Man was scary. In fact, I kind of thought that he was Lord Voldemort turning into a lizard. They're a lot more scary than these worms. Literally! So anyway, they fly off and they meet up with the Toa of Water. And then, the chaos! She discovers that they are on their way to the Fire Temple. She warns them and an epic battle begins. And, okay, warning. This may get a little wordy and violent. I'm gonna word out everything that they say here. <clears throat> Fuck you, 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 fuck getting himself fired up, like angry fired up. And, well, things aren't looking good. So, continuing on, Takua and Jawa are, uh, are now on their journey. They're in the forest, and they meet up with a freaking robot bear! Oh! oh, they're saved. Wait a minute, they're saved by a tree. TREES! Oh! No, it's the Toa of Air. 
which I still don't know why it's air. The guy is obviously a guy of trees and plants. That would like make a lot more sense. I mean, don't get me wrong, air is cool, but uh, I mean, he's green. I mean, if he was air, wouldn't he be white? Oh wait, that's the total advice. Never mind. So anyway, he tells them to journey on, and that he helps them up in the ice region, until he heard of a message that the fire region is destroyed by the rock sheet by drums. Okay, as as catchy as they sound, how can you tell with drums? I mean, unless it's a uh, Morse code. Interesting, but. What kind of lesson do you need for that? I mean, how? So anyway, they continue on no, without him because he needed to help them. Oh, wait a minute, that's the other way around. No, wait, it is. Moving <laughs> on. So anyway, they end up in the blizzard. A nasty one at that too. And well they end up meeting up with <laughs> They're frozen? Why are they frozen? Frozen? What could do this to them? Kupaka! Toa of Ice! How did you find us? It was you who were following me. We were? Toa of Ice! Wait, how were they following you? You were obviously following them. You know what? I'm calling this BS moment. BS moment. This is a moment where I call it bullshit. Because whenever they say something like this, like, how were you following us? You were following me. That is where I call BS moment. It's where some, uh, someone says something so stupid you know that they are only messing with you. So anyway, as we were moving on to... Apparently they reached uh, to the ice temple and I guess an explosion happens or something? I do not know. So, so the rock she is battling with the ice tool and uh, chasing after our fellow heroes. And uh, well, he ends up saving them and they continue on without him. <sighs> this is really getting that messed up. I mean, I don't know where to go from here. Where do we go from here? And instead, he meets up with Makuta through darkness. Is who are you? I am your god now, bitch. Fucking funny. He tells uh, Takua that if he doesn't bring him the mask in peace, then his friends will die. Okay, how many uh, uh, movies have done this? So anyway. Yeah, he wants to, he believes that now they have to split up. He leaves Jawa so that Jawa wouldn't die and that he wouldn't betray him. How is that any better? You're leaving him on the journey! He's gonna die anyway! You're practically backstabbing him for a good cause! And not, and the cause is not good, it's stupid! So he moves on, and we meet up with the and the Toa of Rocks meet up with the Toa of Earth. And you know what? I like these two. I really do. They're enjoyable. You can say anything to them. <laughs> so anyway, they, uh, the Rock Toa tells us that the people of Earth uh, that uh, the Mask of Light has been found. Hooray! Uh, and he found Takua, and they're wondering, what the hell is he? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, bad people share separated us. Bullshit. What are these bad people? Oh, those are the bad people. Oh shit, my home is attacked. Run! N now, 
I have one complaint in this scene. The Toa of Earth does not use his weapons. He uses his powers. I'm calling this another BS moment. Anywho, the other fellow Toas appear and uh, I guess the Rakshi somehow managed to uh, make the Toa fire evil. And, uh, they uh, stop him and they uh, take him away. And so, next thing you know, they have to cure him. So the Toa Water does it and uh, he is knocked out hard. And, well, what happens next? What happens next? Oh yeah! Takua realizes his mistake and rejoins with Jawa. <gasps> I didn't see that coming. No, I, I actually I did. Anywho, the Toa of Fire is uh, awakened again, and he and the Toa of Water are friends again. <sighs> How many have done this? I don't know. You know, I don't know. Maybe two fucking many. I'm serious. How, th th there are so many very, 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 very common cliches in this movie. And I mean common. It, it, uh, it's hurting me. It is hurting me. It really is. I, I, I'm sweating under here of rage. <sighs> Moving on. So anyway, they reach their destination, and apparently Takua is a little pissed off because it's so, it's a common place. Wait a minute. Really? So anyway, and then the Rakshi appear, but then the Tulas appear, and they have themselves an epic battle. Is it really that epic? Nah. But I have one other complaint. Why is it that the Toe of Ice seems to have the kick-ass moves with just one move? Now all he has to do is freeze him! And the, the, the Vorax freezing, early Rakshi freezing, evil Toa brother freezing, and the Rakshi to death freezing! Make the Ice Toe at the leader! Why is the Fire Toe at the leader? He's a jerk! So anyway, one no one Rakshi is left alive, and he ends up killing Jawa, making Takua the, realize his destiny, and he becomes a Toa of Light. the messiah of all Bionicle. Worship him. Worship him. So anyway, he kills Arakshi and, uh, um, and reveals that he is the chosen one. And so he takes uh, Jawa away and uh, Makuta sees that uh, n a final battle is coming up. Ooh, I'm getting excited already. And he is left uh, to uh, see uh, that his friend is just a mask floating. Uh... What about the body? Where is the body? Does it uh, get a burial? Oh. So, what do you like to do with your friend? Turn him into steel balls. Uh, I don't think steel balls! So he decides that he wants to go and destroy Makuda himself. Really? You have a, uh, an army, literally, to face Makuda and kill him just like that. And you're going in there alone? But we shaved the day together. I want to be a badass. But we badass. <sighs> so anyway, he goes down there in a hovering motorcycle and finds that Jawa's girlfriend. I'm not joking. Jawa had a girlfriend. You don't believe me? Look it up. And that decides that she wanted to join. And so the final battle begins. He tells her to go back and tell them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He tells him, he tells her to go back. Wait a minute, she snuck in just to be a messenger? That's stupid. She is stupid. I think the guy has bad taste in women. I really do. 
So Makuta and the Toll of Light decide to have an epic battle. The, uh, the girlfriend, the uh, water girl, uh, goes up and gives an inspirational uh, speech. Speech, speech, speech. Inspirational, inspirational. Toa! Yay! And they go down there and Makuta says, Oh, they're not gonna leave. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You in what door? <sighs> that door. Those are locks. My kind of door. You asshole! And so uh, Makuta is about to attack, and the Toad Flight uses an ultimate move. Wait a minute. Wasn't that move the same move that he used in the game? That is major BS! Now, this is not going to be a BS moment, because that's a little weird, isn't it? I mean, a move that you use in the game turned out to be an attack move? I mean... That's a little cliche, isn't it? That, that's ridiculous. It's like me finding out that this this hammer here is actually a gun. Hey, Maxwell's has a gun. Moving on. Um, I'm gonna have to take care of that later. Oh. I had to, or I'll see what's going to ruin the video. Anyway, so the Toa of uh, Light and Darkness continue on with their battle, and they ended up... Combined? Wait a minute, they were more merged together? Huh? This movie just suddenly turned from weird and annoying into weird and confusing! I mean, what do you say to that? So, are you two like a gay? No. Okay then. Okay, um, moving on from whatever the hell that thing is. He, he, the, both toys have been decided that they want to wake up their fellow god. And so they let out everyone, and uh, the water girl is stopped by them. That mask needs life. body then whatever happened to the old body it's like saying it, it, that, that you know what I'm just curious I think I know how it's gonna go after this movie when he accidentally uh, shows up in front of his old body wow it feels good to be alive I mean I oh my god I died hey how you doing um why is my body still here I told him to turn it into a uh, steel balls steel what nothing uh, it, it's, uh, it's confusing. This movie is confusing. You know what? Let, let's start to wrap it up. So, uh, so the mixed, uh, uh, dark, light and dark guy, uh, becomes, uh, and sacrifices himself and outslides his mask. My duty is done. Wait, that's not his mask, that's the mask of light. Well, where's the mask of darkness? It's still in there? Wow. Doesn't even give him a chance. I mean, I know he, he's an asshole, but... I think they're assholes. You people are assholes. Shame, 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 shame. shame. So anyway, they decide to bring uh, to bring him back, like like no other. Oh yeah, 
The big body is behind the door. Oh yeah, he's not gonna experience anything like the poor little guy. And so he's brought back to life. They wake up their fellow god, I guess, and everybody lives happily ever after. And that was Bionicle Movie, Mask of Light. And, and how bad is it? Well, well, say, seeing that it is definitely a childhood classic, it could definitely use some help. I mean, the animation is great, the characters are memorable, but the story is so confusing, and it, it and everything is just confusing. But if you're a giant ass fan of Bionicle like myself, go ahead and see this movie. If not, well then. Just uh, get some uh, get something else. Build Bionicles. Hey, good. Uh, hey, at least it's better than the video games. My God, Bionicle, uh, the, the uh, Lego video games. What are you? Are you high? God. I am Nitro Sexy. I admit I am insane, so do not judge me. Nanny? I thought I shot you! That's not important right now. You have to come with me! Uh... Are you sure that you are just saying that so that you wouldn't give me knuckle sandwich for shooting you? Actually, you know what? That's a pretty good idea. Come on! Get out shooting me! No! No, you don't do that! Wait, I'm sorry! You came out of nowhere! The first time was an accident! Second time was on purpose. Hey, I'm sorry. You were gonna make moans. I had to keep you quiet for the show. Look, I found something buried in a box somewhere. I gotta show it to you. Is it is it a girlfriend that's never liked you and she turns out to be a zombie? You know I don't bury my girlfriends. No, uh, never mind. The point is, I found something called the mask of insanity. That's only a myth! It's not a myth. What the hell are we looking at? I don't know. Let's go! Don't talk about it. Uh, 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 no. Obama? Uh, what? I thought you wouldn't say no or something. Not happening. I have nothing wrong with the 46th president. Is he the 46th? Anyway, that's not the point. Mask of insanity. It's only a myth! There is no such thing as mask of insanity. And I don't even know if this is the real mask of insanity. Look, I'm telling you, I found the mask of insanity. You're not going to believe it. Oh yeah, and I'm the uh, tooth fairy who happens to know the Easter Bunny. And, and, and oh, and um, the same is quite, uh, Santa Claus is Russian, and the only one who can save us is Jack Frost from something evil. Really? I didn't know that. Actually, that's a film coming up from the guy who directed Hellboy in Pants Labyrinth. Really? It's an animated film, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. It's been buried in my house. Why your house? I don't know. You think I... I don't research these things. I just... It happened to be in here, so... What? Trust me, I didn't put this in here. Tell me. I... No, it's not that. I just feel like you are crazy before you even found it. Here it is. Right in this white priority mailbox. For years in my house. I never even knew it was here. A mailbox. I'm not gonna be turned into a monkey, am I? It's an insanity mask, not an animal mask. Still, animals are crazy. Here, come on. I have mine. Hey, take a look at what I can do with my eyes. Ugh, ugh, no, no. Put the mask on. Put the mask on. It's like a, it's like it's, a, it's like they're zits. 
It's not cool, man. Not cool. Be him. Wanna get pizza? Sure, let's go. 